At any given time, how do I find the best tech deals on the market? I'm glad you asked. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of Misty Morning and Focus combination. That zing, that bergamot, so good. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech-centered day today. It's all about tech. I bought some new tech and I want to take you on this journey with me. A lot of you have been asking me, you know, where do you get good deals on tech? You know, are you one of those people that just go straight to Amazon and wherever you get the best deal on Amazon, that's what you buy? The answer to that is no, absolutely not. Amazon is more like Costco was back in the day. Whereas if you didn't have a Costco card, people would look at you like, ah, you're not getting the best deals. Costco has the best. People figured out that Costco does not have good deals. They have good deals, let's say, on bulk product. But if you're just looking one of this, one of that or whatever, usually you're going to find a better deal somewhere else, not at Costco. So the same thing happens with Amazon. There's a lot of full retail price product on Amazon. You don't get a lot of really good deals. But this is what I wanna to talk to you guys about because I think that this is very important when finding tech deals, especially tech. Now, the context behind this video is that I was looking for a replacement for my Apple laptop. I had an Apple MacBook Air and it was an old one. It was like from 2010, I believe. So we're looking at a 13 year old Apple notebook or an Apple laptop. So it's getting a bit long in the tooth, right? It needs to be replaced. So that's what my goal here was to replace that with something else. This 13 year old MacBook Air has been a fixture, let's say, in the living room for a decade. And everyone, the kids, my wife, myself, everyone has used this laptop. Everyone knows where to find it, it's always in the same spot. They just open it up, it's immediately on, they go in there, they'll do their emails, or maybe they'll do a little bit of shopping. Maybe they will head over to Amazon and grab something, or maybe they'll just watch something on YouTube or whatever. It is a workhorse or has been a workhorse, like I said, for over a decade. Now, the problem is, is you can't do any type of graphic design with it, obviously. You're not going to be able to do any kind of high-end gaming with it, but for doing emails or some research projects or just research in general or watching a video or two, it is perfect for that. So I want to replace this laptop with another one. Now the question is, will I go PC or will I go with another Apple? Now seeing that the Apple has served me well for so long, I think what I'll do is go with another Apple. The Apple laptops just are really great for what they are. Whereas if I'm going to build a system, I'm going to build a PC because I'm going to get more value out of my money, right? Now, knowing that Apple was the direction I want to go into, the question was, do I get a MacBook Air or do I get a MacBook Pro this time? And that's where research, research, and more research comes into play here. And I encourage you guys to do that. So many people will just jump into a purchase. They'll be like, yeah, that's cool. Like the next shiny object and they will buy it. And they'll just, just number one, they won't get a good deal on it. And then later on, they'll find out that they don't use it or there's something missing about it. So there's three questions I always ask. Number one, what is my need? Right? That's number one. Number two, what is my want? What are those wants? And then finally, how much money am I willing to spend? Those are the three questions I always ask before buying a new piece of tech gear, because usually tech gear isn't cheap. It's an investment. So after doing the research, I figured out that I want a MacBook Pro and not another MacBook Air. Now, the reason being is because I needed a means of being able to do editing, video editing on the go, HD video as well as 4K video and I needed to get that faster speed. Doing the research, what I found out was that the MacBook Air does not have a fan in it, whereas the Pro does. Why is that important? Well, the MacBook Air not having a fan means that when you start taxing it, when it comes to GPU utilization or CPU utilization, it gets hot. And when it gets hot, it slows itself down. Whereas a pro does not slow itself down because it has a fan to keep those thermals at a lower range, let's say. The reason being is the majority of these computers have some type of thermal limit 
to them, a thermal throttle, let's call it. Once it gets to a certain temperature, it throttles back the GPU and the CPU to a slower speed so that it doesn't use as much power and does not produce as much heat so it can cool down. I don't want that to happen. So having the fans will allow me to work, let's say, at full tilt all the time and not have to worry about those thermals. So the other thing was, what am I willing to spend? I figured around $1,200 to $1,500 is a good range for me, whereas I'd feel comfortable in making that purchase. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna say, wait a second, Joe, you're going into the Apple sphere, and in that economic, it is extremely expensive. You're not gonna find what you're looking for for $1,200 to $1,500. It's just not possible. Hang in there, it is possible. All right, it is possible. And we're gonna get into how it is possible. Remember, it all has to do with research. You need to look around, you need to do your research, and you need to know what you're buying and the differences between different models and why you need X over Y or Z. It is very, very important. And that's where YouTube is absolutely excellent for that. While I watch YouTube a lot, but I'm watching it not for, let's say, the Mr. Beast entertainment type of thing. I'm looking for more edutainment or just simply educational information. That is what I do with YouTube. I'm watching continuously YouTube. I am a sponge for learning everything. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's something that I don't know, I'm gonna go and figure it out or I'm gonna go and learn it. That's just how I am. Years ago, you would have to walk into a library with your library card and check out a book and learn whatever you were going to learn and then return the book. Then finally, we moved into the internet where there was a lot of information, almost too much. And now we have moved into video, into YouTube, where you can actually see the people that are experts on certain topics and then go and view their videos and learn from them. Once again, these are experts in their field that are giving you free knowledge like I do on this channel. This channel is more like edutainment. I try to entertain you, but also give you some education. Like I always say, the why about stuff, not just the how. That's what this channel is all about. So doing all of this research, I found out that I need a MacBook Pro, but I also need more memory and more hard drive space. The standard version comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and around 256 gigabytes of hard drive space. That is okay, but when you're doing video editing, 16 gigabytes is really the minimum that you want to use for it. It is a lot easier on the machine to have that excess headroom. And also when it comes to hard drive space, when you start out with 256 gigabytes of hard drive space, you can max that out really quickly. And I just don't want to do that. Now, of course, all the videos are gonna be living on an external Thunderbolt type of hard drive, but I still wanna have enough internal hard drive space so I don't have to worry about installing new apps. Do I have to delete an app to install a new one and all this kind of stuff? We don't want any of that. So I figured one terabyte would be perfect. 512 gigabytes would probably do, but one terabyte would be absolutely perfect. So I'm looking for an Apple MacBook Pro that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a total of one terabyte of hard drive space. So that is my vision. And I'm trying to get this beast for right around $1,200 to $1,500. Not an easy task, right? But we're gonna do it, guys, we're gonna do it. So for me, a lot of times what I will do is I will pick up a refurbished Apple. I love Apple refurbished parts. And the reason being is it's been gone over with a fine tooth comb multiple times. The QC or the quality control is there because they had to figure out what was wrong with it if there was anything before they launched it out the door the first time when it was new. And then when it came back as being damaged or something wrong with it, even if there's not something wrong with it, they still have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb all over over again. So you're getting almost a double QC on it. That's number one. Number two, the Apple refurbished that I've had in the past, I've never ever had a problem with it. Number three, you can also buy Apple Care that will extend your warranty from a year to let's say three years for the same price as buying just the new product without any warranty or with just the one year. You're basically getting an extra two years and you're also getting a lower final price. So Apple refurbished products are something that I always always look at. So a lot of you guys will be like, okay, well, there you go. That's the end. He's going to go to the Apple store and go look at their refurbished and go and pick up that computer. Well, not really. Well, yes, if you go to the refurbished store, you're going to get anywhere from about, let's say, 100 up to maybe 300 $350 off, which is great. But you can get bigger discounts than that, not going through Apple refurbished. Here's the key. 
There is two factors in finding really good deals when it comes to Apple products. And that's number one. When is WWDC coming? When is that worldwide developer conference coming? Or when is an event coming that is going to introduce an update to the product that you're looking for? That's number one. And number two, are there any holidays or any events coming soon? So some of you guys will say, well, how does that matter? Apple doesn't go down on their prices on anything, very rarely, and it's always a small amount, if anything. Well, that's true, but there is a lot of authorized Apple retailers out there, big box stores as well as small box stores that sell Apple product that now have the product and say, hey, there is a new product coming out because we just heard through that event, maybe WWDC or maybe one of the other events, there is a new version of that coming out. We need to get rid of what we have. The reason being is that once the unit is outdated, it's kind of like a, let's say a dozen of eggs. Once it hits that date, of no longer being able to resell them, those eggs go into the garbage. Now, they don't throw the tech in the garbage, but it makes it very difficult for these small, let's say small box stores, as well as the big box stores, to be able to get rid of the product at a price that they're still going to be profitable at. So they need to get rid of them at that point. And that's exactly what happened here. When the new models come out, the older models become obsolete. It's ridiculous, we know, but that's the way tech is. Tech is moving like every 90 days there's something new. Six months, one year is forever when it comes to tech. So for me, I'm always buying tech that's one year back no matter what. And in this case, what I decided on was a MacBook Pro M1 chipset, not the Intel, but the M1 chipset because I wanted the Apple Silicon on this purchase, but not the M2. So as you expected, I went over to Apple Refurbish to see what the cost on this specific machine would be. Once again, that is an Apple MacBook Pro M1. And we came up with $1,699. Let's call it $1,700. It's close to the $1,500 that I wanted to pay, but not close to the $1,200 on the low side. So I said, you know what? We're going to keep looking, as I always do. And that's when all of the stars aligned. You had WWDC as well as Memorial Day happening within a week or two apart. And that was the time. That was absolutely perfect. So I went over to, obviously, the Apple Refurbish, like I said, at $16.99. Then I went over to Best Buy and I went over to Walmart. Yes, Walmart does sell Apple computers. If you didn't know it, they do. But it's online, usually not in their stores. Also, I went into Micro Center. I went to CDW. I went over to Adorama, b &H Photo and Video, and a bunch of other big box stores. And I was looking around and I finally found one that had an amazing deal. And lo and behold, b &H had a Memorial Day special. b &H had it for $500 off. $500 off that $16.99 puts us in at $1,199. Truth here, absolute truth. 1200 bucks, guys. $1,199 I ended up spending on a MacBook Pro with a terabyte hard drive space and 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is an M1. So it, I did get the Apple Silicon that I wanted and didn't have to go with the Intel. And all of my needs, my wants, and of course, the final price was exactly what I ended up getting here. Amazing, right? So once again, $11.99 is what I spent on it. So of course, I immediately downloaded Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve because that's what I use for my video editing. So now I'll be able to actually edit on the go. It doesn't matter if I'm at Starbucks, if I'm in the house, maybe I'm here in the studio and I don't want to use this setup. I want to go onto the couch and edit. I'll be able to do it. Matter of fact, this is what this system looks like. There you go. $11.99. Brand new. I mean, how are you going to beat that? You're not because this is a fantastic deal. And this is the type of deals that I find. And I do this all the time. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. I've probably purchased well in excess of $100,000 worth of tech goods. And I've always done it this way. I've never paid full price for anything. I just simply don't. I'm just not that guy. I'm not gonna buy the tech immediately when it comes out. I'm gonna buy it one year back because it just simply makes sense. You get a better value for your money. That's what I I've always done the same thing with cameras. I will never buy a first generation camera. I always wait for a Mark II to come out. Number one, it's going to be too expensive when it first comes out. But number two, the Mark I is probably going to have a problem with it. So I wait for a Mark II. 
right? And maybe I might even wait for a Mark III and then buy the Mark II. That's just how I've always been with all tech. And I hope you're that way too, instead of giving all of these companies just maximum amount of dollar for the latest and greatest. They do the same thing with the phones all the time. It's like, oh, we have a new phone. And what does it have that's new? Maybe a little bit faster processor and maybe a better lens. <laughs> iPhones are always about the lens. Look at how much better our picture is. How about the phone? Anyways, guys, I go over to a link over on B&H all the time. I have it in my bookmarks. I'm gonna share that link down below. It gives you all of the deals of like the day or anything that's current going on. I go there all the time. I don't even bother going to B&H's homepage. I don't. I go straight over to this link. And like I said, I'm gonna share it down below. So look for that link down there. Go check it out. All of those great deals are always there. And I have these links for all of the different big box and small box stores also. So I don't have to go to their homepage. I go directly to where all of their deals are centered and I go just there. So maybe I'll start sharing some of those also in that newsletter. So like I said before, if you want to get onto that newsletter, go over to jchristina.com forward slash join. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash join and Join the rest of the 10,000 plus people that are on that newsletter. I share a lot of things. The new videos that come out, I let you know before they come out. Anything that's new, let's say that's going on with me. And then of course, now we're gonna move into this series where I'm gonna give you any kind of specials that I see in tech year. You've been asking for it and finally I'm going to do it. So watch out for those, maybe weekly, maybe bi-monthly. It's really gonna depend on when the deals come out. We see Father's Day is coming soon. I'm probably gonna have a Father's Day discount count bunch of deals for you guys there that I find. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this interesting, at least. If you have, throw the video a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click this button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. Also, if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down there. You can click on that. That'd be awesome. You can give a dollar or two, but what's even better is don't give a dollar or two. Become a member of the channel. That would be much, much better. I would really appreciate it and I would love to have you here. Finally, if you're looking for a VPN, and maybe faster internet or maybe more reliable internet, check out Speedify. I've been using them for a couple of months now. It works out awesome. They gave us a promo code, which is Christina, and you'll automatically get 20% off. Go check them out. I'll also put a link down below. And that link, if you click on it, will automatically give you 20% off. You don't even have to remember the promo code Christina. Anyways, guys, let me get out of here by saying, Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.